um, Mr. Houlihan was uh, requested uh, by the Honorable Court to go and take a uh, drug test uh, yesterday. Uh, it's my understanding from talking to pre-trial services. Come up, Mr. Houlihan. That um, the client tested positive for THC. Yeah. You've literally tested positive the entire time while you have been on bond. Sir, I haven't smoked since August 25th. You've tested positive Is there a way October, I August 27th. You tested positive September 30th. You tested positive now November 18th. Then I can obtain the urine sample and I will go pay for it myself to show that it's been a steady decline because I have not smoked, Your Honor. It should be out of your system. It's been three. Heavy smoker. It's been three months. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. It's been three months. When did he test positive? Yesterday? Yes, sir, Your Honor. I spoke to pre-trial services. They reported to me that uh, he did test positive. The client has... He's done a total of three tests, right, Felicia? Yes, I have one from the first Thursday and then a positive from the 7th of October where he was remanded in custody um, and then none since October until yesterday. I don't know what to tell you, Mr. Hulan. I guess you just don't take us seriously. I've asked you repeatedly not to. You've tested consistently positive for marijuana. I've told you since day one, do not use and you continue to test positive what am i supposed to do judge if i may uh could i get those dates uh that uh mr uh Houlihan tested positive again from the uh, pre-trial service so we have one on 827 827 24 september 30th 9 30 24 10 7 10 7 24. and now 11 18. I have no choice, Mr. Houlihan. He goes with you. Sorry. Few moments later. Judge, I've spoken with my client. Uh, it appears that he is requesting a hearing, a formal hearing on the uh, revocation of his bond. Sure. Okay. Uh, we can set it three days. I have a hearing three days. I don't know if you want me to subpoena the people Judge, there. I, need, I, I believe I'm going to have to subpoena some uh, some documentation. But I've already spoken to pre-trial. I need to get the uh, copies of the results of the lab test. Whatever you want. Okay. Yeah, whatever you want. Okay. Uh, how much time? I think about, about two weeks minimum. Sure. So whatever you'd like. I mean, it's up to you. Hey, Judge, with all due respect, uh, would you be amenable to... Uh, releasing him until such time that it has been determined that from a former yes. hearing that is bond. I've given him time after time, pass after pass, you know? I mean, if we're now four times, he, he's literally continued to smoke weed the whole time while he's on bond. He has um, informed me that he is a uh, habitual marijuana user, uh, and uh, I've... I, I, been doing this it's a long time three months yes sir your honor and and with all okay. due respect with all due respect uh during my my training as a lawyer i've come to realize that that the amount of use uh that a person consume uh marijuana depends upon how long that particular drug will stay in your body uh, I, I, I agree with you. I agree with you. He said he's a three months, habitual, three months 90 days, 90 days uh, is, is, is a 14 to 90 days. That's why someone. we normally give people, you know, 40, 45 days to clear the system out. We've given him double. But he could be, with all due respect, Your Honor, he could be one of those persons that fits in the 90 day range. <laughs> <laughs> show me literature that says it can stay in your system 90 days uh, show me something that says now, that but, but my, my my experience over the years 
has suggested to me in my learning and experience of for practicing 37 years, I've, I've, I've known to have read documentation that showed that for heavy users, marijuana can stay in the system for anywhere from, from, from 14 to 90 days. And, and because it stays in the body that long is because the body can only, it can only get rid of so much of marijuana at one time. And therefore the other marijuana that remains in the system goes into the fat cells of the body. So that's why it can take up to 90 days sometimes for it to dissipate in the body altogether, especially from- Let's do this, let's do this try to get the results, see where the numbers are as far as, you know, how many nanograms that are in his body. I don't know, but let's take a look to see have they gone up, have they gone down, but I'm sure that we can pull everything there and take a look. You know, I mean, I, I can't imagine that if he stopped when he said he was going to stop, it'd be out of his system. In my opinion, I think he's just continued to smoke and he hasn't stopped, you know, and I just doesn't take it seriously. But with all due respect again, Judge, uh, my experience again uh, as practicing the law, 30, the Code of Criminal Procedure, Code of Criminal Procedure 17, 1740, 1740, I believe. Se Code of Criminal Procedure 1740, Section A, Section A, Section B. I believe it states that it is it is upon a hearing uh, that a person's bond can be revoked. If that person respects the law, basically saying that in order to re revoke a person's bond, that person has the right to 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 request a hearing before that that can be just had a hearing. We've had multiple hearings with Mr. Hulahan. I've let him go on multiple times when he's tested positive. But I, at some point, I have to say when. You can't just continue to test positive and have a good result, Mr. D. And I, I appreciate your tenacity, but we're already four times. Yes, sir. You know? Yeah. I mean, when do we do? I mean, if, we, if he tests positive in a week, now we're at five times. Are we still going to make the same argument? When, when do we say when? When does it become his actions? You know, and, and I respect you know, the request to do what I requested yeah, earlier. Get, get all the labs, for sure. And you know what? We don't have to take two weeks. Take a couple days. Try to get it as fast as we can. Felicia is really good about getting records. It doesn't have to be two weeks. We can set it off for just a couple days. Yes, sir, you are. You know, I, like I said, I'm not out for blood, but I want him to understand that we mean business. We're not, yes, you sir. know. Thank you, Your Honor. Yes, sir.